Hello guys, welcome back to another interesting video. So in this video, we'll be doing a comparison between Oxygen OS 14 with that of Funtouch OS 14, which I could say is they have improved a lot. And for the comparison part, we'll be taking things like animation, UI, customizations, bloatwares, features, etc. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have two phones towards the left hand side. We have OnePlus 11, which is running the stable build of Oxygen OS 14 based on Android 14. And towards the right hand side, we have IQ 12, which is running Funtouch OS 14 based on Android 14. Both are on the latest build and are running this stable version of their particular OS. And guys, before moving ahead, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. Now, first, let's compare the animation part. So, talking about the animations, we haven't made any kind of changes in the animation settings. Everything is kept at default. So, we'll take up only the stock applications. For example, we have gallery, camera application, and few more. So, let's start with the camera application. Application. So animations looks exactly same on both these phones. Animations on OnePlus 11 are slightly smoother. Let's take another example for example gallery. Ico animations are a little bit faster compared to OnePlus 11. If you are able to make out the difference, Ico animations are slightly faster and they don't have that nice transition. And the same thing goes when we pull down the notification panel or the quick setting tiles. We have that bouncy effect on OnePlus which is kind of missing on iQOO 12. Both the devices have good blur effect. And if you also see the notification panel, it though looks similar on both the OS, but you can see it looks nicer on OneTouch OS 14 with this clear text towards the right hand side and the managed text towards the left hand side instead of this single cross icon. When we talk about the quick setting tiles, here also I feel iQOO has done it better compared to OnePlus. I personally like this compact quick setting tiles which is present on iQOO. And another place in the quick setting tiles where iQOO takes a lead and that's when you play the music. I mean to say the music tile. So I'll play a music on both the phones so that you get a better idea. On iQOO 12, we have a similar music tile what we have seen on stock Android instead of this pathetic music tile which is present on OnePlus smartphones. And if you go to the app drawer, here I would give point to OnePlus for this cleaner app drawer. And iQOO has just got this additional add-on of widgets. I don't know why when you can access widgets by long pressing on the home screen. One thing which I would like to say, OnePlus have optimized their software so well and it's hard to beat OnePlus 11 by iQOO in Haptics. OnePlus Haptics are so rich and strong that you never miss out any notification even while driving or riding. Then talking about this smart sidebar, so both of the devices have the smart sidebar but practically OnePlus sidebar is a lot useful. Though one advantage on iQOO is that you can tap and open almost 12 applications at the same time in this small window but on OnePlus you can only open one application in the pop-up view or you can say floating windows. And you guys must be already aware about the features like file dock and recents and these are one of the favorite features which I have come across on any of the smartphone. File docs lets you save any kind of image, text, which can be later used. And the same way, instead of that having pain going to file manager and checking out the recent file, you can access recent images and documents from the smart sidebar itself. A very good implementation by OnePlus here. There's no such implementation for productivity on iQOO or you can say OneTouch OS. And now let's talk about the bloatwares. iQOO claims that they have removed a a lot of bloatwares like hot apps and hot games but still I feel I could do have some unwanted bloatwares which are not required. One of them is this Jovi Home, a personal assistant. After that you also have things like browser which can't be disabled. If you see we also have a browser on OnePlus but it can be easily disabled by going to the app info. That's not the case on iQOO. So this is where iQOO lacks and OnePlus doesn't even provide things like additional music player, vStore etc. And applications like vStore and that browser sends notifications throughout the day. Though vStore sends only one notification but browser application sends a lot of notifications. So when it comes to bloatwares, I would say OnePlus is still one of the cleanest UI present right now in the Android world. Also OnePlus have given these small touch-ups in the applications like weather. So here we have weather application on both these phones and one difference what you'll see if you long press here you'll feel that vibration and sound depending on the ambient situation but that's not the case here it's a pretty basic application which iQOO provides settings page also personally for me 
it looks good on oneplus wherein you have a proper segregation between every section here in a single section there are multiple options available but there is no differentiation between them and again dark mode on oneplus is a lot better compared to iq's dark mode though the app drawer looks better on iq wherein we get to see this lighter shade of dark theme on oneplus which doesn't look that good again it's a personal choice for me dark mode in the app store looks better on iq and now let's compare the features on both these os so first of all one of my favorite feature is that which is kind of similar to dynamic island and that's not present on iq yet so for example here if i start the stopwatch and go back you can see the pill in action in the status bar but that's not the case here on iq smartphone you have this app icon which you get to see in the status bar and this dynamic island stuff is kind of useful and it works with applications like zomato swiggy etc then here in the gallery application both have unique features for example oneplus has this feature like you can extract any subject from any picture available inside the gallery application kind of similar which we have seen on ios or iphones you can say this feature is not present here on iq but iq have a upper hand when it comes to video editing so let me open up a video file on both these phones so here you can see we have two videos if i tap on edit on iq you will get additional options like to change the export quality of the video you can change the resolution and you can also change frame rate on oneplus this thing is not available we have some basic editing options so here both the gallery application have some good features even on fun touch os and on oneplus later we have more features under settings which are still missing on fun touch os 14 and these are very useful so if you go to connection and sharing you have the option to connect your device to windows using your microsoft account as you can see here this option is not present on fun touch os and you all know oneplus have a lineup of oneplus pads so they have also added this multi-screen connect feature which is again very useful then if you see under battery health and charging again oneplus has an upper hand by providing two options one is smart charging and the second one is stop charging at 80 percent on iq we only have one option which is optimize the battery life and here device will learn your pattern and accordingly improve the battery life but on oneplus we have this additional option of stop charging at 80 percent and recently if you guys remember oneplus did add this new feature called app specific refresh rate this lets you enjoy all the applications in 120 hertz which makes scrolling feels a lot smoother this feature is not present on fun touch os so for example here i opened the gallery application you can see on the gallery application when we touch we get maximum of 90 hertz but here on oneplus we do have the support of 120 hertz and the same thing goes with the applications like twitter youtube which supports 120 hertz wherein iq only have the max support of 90 hertz and now moving on to the customization part so for customizing the device we do have only limited options on oneplus and i personally am not a huge fan of customization basic customizations which are required are available here but funtouch os 14 brings a lot of new aod styles wherein on oneplus or you can say oxygen os 14 we have some limited stuff or limited aod styles available under wallpapers i could have these new wallpapers called kinetic wallpapers so depending on the steps what you have set and steps how much you have covered in a day the flower will bloom accordingly we do have that kind of wallpaper on oneplus which is also called blossom wallpaper but here it works on the screen time we do have some similar stuff but here oneplus gives a nice information to reduce the carbon footprints by walking 10,000 steps here actually oneplus lacks in customization you can see on iq or fun touch os we have a lot of customizations available like you can make changes in the touch screen animation ambient light effects home screen transitions fingerprint icons fingerprint recognition animations face recognition animations and more like charging animation usb insertion these things are missing on oneplus but as i said i am not a huge fan of too much of customizations the required customizations for me are present on oneplus so guys this was the comparison between oxygen os 14 with that of funtouch os 14 what do you guys have to say which os is better in terms of animation customizations bloatwares etc do let us know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day but even that could change you could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain uh, that's why to say fake it till you make it a eh? and if you play that game then you just might make a change rearrange all the bad to okay Take
Take the worst I say and turn them to a game. Take the best I say and put them on display. I'm repeating your brain.